ready, Giza? I think I am, Giza. Are you ready? I am, Giza. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Vapor Giza channel with myself, Boudoir, and mm. Dud as his nipples. <laughs> so, <laughs> my nipples. Just for you, just to get a little bit. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit whiskey on our foot juice with you. It's no, hello, a... <laughs> everybody, and welcome back, honestly, this time with myself, Boudoir, and of always, not as always anymore, with elusive, no, elusive, elusive yes. Dudders, who's been away, and now he's back. I am back from and, uh, out of space. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I was going to say. And today we bring you a juice review courtesy of the Drip Club. Big up Drip Club as always, Indeed, yeah. always looking out for us. They are. And today we have got the Animal ANML Animal Unleashed line. This is part one of our juice review of the complete line. It is, We're yeah. going to be getting the other two real soon. But to start off with, this is what we've got for you. Now the Gorilla is a bananas and cream. Gorillas, monkeys, bananas, that makes sense. Now the Shark is they say, Remember those kids sweets, the peach candy, like the candies with the white and orange swirls? Oh yeah, in? yeah, I remember. Yeah. Peaches and cream. Oh, okay, yeah. Don't know how sharks relate to peaches and cream, but it's a peaches and cream. So we have got banana, banana and cream, and peaches and cream. And I think this runs throughout the whole line of a creamy, oh, okay. fruity. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, we so like cream and fruit. We, will, so we do. So we'll start off with well. we'll start off with the with the beast. Indeed. And I think we are going to be using something else. As we well. are. We'll talk about that we in between. Yeah. In second, yeah, we'll talk about that as well. But as we just uh, just drip on some of the beast, let's see if it uh, lives up to its name. I like. I'm, I'm a very big banana fan, as you know. In fact, you've made me some. Yeah, banana I have made you banana juice recently, recently, which is very nice. This has got a lot to live up to. Okay, and there you go. Right, let's give this a go. So uh, again, we've got it. This on your Sigeli. Got your Buddha deck. Yeah, uh, Buddha V3. Buddha Z V3, always find that hard to say. Yeah, with uh, 1.4.14, should I say? 0.14. 0.14 ohms, and your batteries are about 4 volts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really need the voltage, but yeah, what is 90 watts? 0.14, 90 watts. Airflow half open on this one. Oh, okay. He's going for it. Oh, oh. Hmm. It's really interesting. Do you remember the ice cream banana split? Yep. Where you've got the banana and the cream in the middle? I get that at the end. I don't get it at the start. At the start, I'm getting a very almost perfumey banana. Yeah, I don't. You don't get as you get the it sort of goes banana to, to creamy banana mm. to cream yeah. on the next hour. It's, yes. it's yeah. a nice one. It's it nice. Is. The ending's nicer yeah, yeah. than yeah, the, the which exhale's is nicer than the inhale, which I don't I always prefer. Either both, yeah, or inhale on, on the exhale. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, the vaping in I like more than the vaping out. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Like, although I'm the complete opposite from you, I prefer a nicer aftertaste, something that sticks with me. It depends what sticks on your lips. I mean, that's nice on the exhale, so that's a good job. It's yeah. and it's nice once you've inhaled. It's nicer. Yeah, the inhale's the word. Don't inhale it and go. You inhale it and go. I'm not sure about that. And you exhale it and go. Actually, yeah, there like, hold comes the cream. Inhale, yeah. like a wine connoisseur, chew it around your mouth, <laughs> spit that shit out. And you'll be like, no, no, I'm digging that. And it is exactly as you said. I mean, uh, you didn't need my little reenactment there of a wine connoisseur vaping, but it is exactly as you've, you've described it there. Although, as I said, I'd prefer it if the banana was sweet at the start. Yes, that's, that's the number one concern. This could be a little bit sweeter for me. Yeah, a little bit sweeter. more banana, a little bit sweeter, but it is very good. It is. Oh, yeah, though. I mean, we just, the, the problem is, is there's a vast array of juices out there, thousands of juices out there. And there, and of those thousands, hundreds of them are very, very good. Yeah. And that's that's our job is to, to try and find those yeah, little, what we little like differences yeah. and, and let you know what they are. And I think with this one, it... Start off with just sweetness. Well, I think I might also might both juice this a little. We might have to vape on it a little bit longer. Yeah, maybe. But uh, I think what we'll do then, let's try the fresher. Yep, let's do that. But we've got a bit of an issue here. We've got the beast flavour on it. Yep. Is there anything we can do? Well, I didn't bring an RDA built. I mean, I could build one right now. We don't want to watch me do that. No, we don't want to watch you do that. So, and I could re wick. He could re -wick. We don't want to no, no, do that. Do that. So what we're going to do is, courtesy of iBliss Vapor, we're going to be using this. This is Flavor Switch. Oh, nice. That they sent us for your tanks. Go from cherry to pear on the picture on the side, or from bananas to strawberries, pineapples, whatever you fancy. Okay. Tank and coil cleaner, they call this. Nice. Sticks them on your wick. Not, and it gets rid of the flavor. Yeah, vape it dry. No need to waste time replacing your cotton. It even says so on the side. 
Nice. Give it a little. So now that's from courtesy of Ibelis Vapor. I've used it in a tank and it seems, oh, I've used it in my partner's tank. She liked it. Seems to work wonders. We're going to try it on these coils. Yeah, so if, vape on that a little tiny bit more if I was you first. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not bad, so I'm not really, it's not like a chore having a vape on this. Yeah, exactly. Right? And look, I've not even opened this fresher. While he's doing that, let me talk to you a little bit about these tea bottles. Not only are they 60 mils, which is a nice size. Unfortunately, I haven't got the pricing in front of me. I believe they're around the $30 mark. I believe, but I could be wrong. We'll, we'll put the link for you. Yeah, we'll put the link in the description. But they also came with these. Each bottle came with its own Animal Unleashed 30 mil unicorn bottle. So you don't have to walk around with a big 60 mil dripper bottle in your pocket at all times. You can just take 30 mils oh, of it out nice. and save half of it for yeah. later. So yeah, both of them. And at the moment on um, um, Drip Club, all Animal Unleashed bottles are coming with these 30ml drop bottles. Oh, that's bottles. excellent. And in about $30, you're getting 60 mils. Yeah. You could be expect to spend about $20, $25 on 30ml. Yeah, yeah. So you're getting 60 to 30 mils, and you're getting a 30 mil. So it might be more value. than that, but it is good value for what you get. You get your, a very good what's value. What's it called? To... No, it's, it's very, very nice. Right. right. It's, uh... <coughs> Let's give this thing a go. Get a little bit of this flavour switch on there. And I've noticed that this flavour switch stuff does have a bit of a little bit of a taste itself. Okay. But very, very mild. I'm, I'm assuming... I don't know, but I'm assuming it is just a little bit of concentrate. Mostly VG. <laughs> and some VG. Yeah. Just, and oh, so, nice. I mean, you could probably do the same effect just vaping on clean VG. We'll have Almost to do a... Yeah. We'll give it we'll a try. We'll have to do a test on that. Yeah. Let's see what this is like. It doesn't taste of anything. You've just got to vape it dry. Yeah. It's exactly what we were expecting. I'll give it a go to see what it tastes like. Now, if we stop talking, we might even be able to speed up through this bit. <laughs> Now we're back. Back in the room. Back in the room. We are. We are now on the fresher, which I've just opened. I've not completely unopened this. I've never tried this one, so it's completely new for us. Not spent any time with it. No. I'll let you do the honours. Oh, very nice. Okay, so this is supposed to be a, a peaches and cream sweet. Okay. Like a, an actual candy, peaches and cream candy, sort of. Hmm. Mm. Do you know what? That's surprising. Yeah? Yeah. Now, where the banana I felt suffered with not being sweet enough, I'd say the peach is the right level for me. That is nice. That is a very, very nice that peach. That is lovely. I'm really liking that. A cream oh, softly coming yeah, in Yeah, soft cream candy. I can almost taste the fuzziness of that peach. Almost, yeah. I know what you mean. There's a, there's a little added... You can, it does feel like you're eating a peach. You know? See, I was not sure what to expect from that. I was, gonna, I was thinking a hint of peachy cream. <laughs> not I'm getting balls to the wall. Yeah. Right, we're playing dodgeball with peaches here, <laughs> yes. is what we're doing. We're playing dodgeball with peaches. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly And I've just been here, I'm out. Yeah. I'm out of the game. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a very, very strong but nice peach flavour that comes in that really, and that's where we talk about the after. And I've tried some sour peaches before, and I've mm. tried some candy peaches, but I've not tried many peaches and cream. Mm. And I must say, if this is the standard of what peach and cream juice tastes like, I'm more than willing to try another. If you've got peaches and cream juice, you think you can beat this one, you tell me. Yeah, exactly. It's but, very, very nice. He won't give it back. It's that nice. Let's give it a... It is awfully good. Now, I must say, although I want to like, I want to like the bananas and cream more because I'm a, I'm a, that's what I'm in. That's, that's right in my, that's right in my wee lass. Yeah, it is. It's the same. Oh, it is. It's me and you, we are bananas. But that peach... It's, it's a bloody... It's a, it's a good one. Well... One thing I will say about both, and possibly because you've overdone it a little bit, they do spit a bit, and we'll give that advice. Um, I do find that That's just overdue. Yeah, to I, I find that, yeah. With, mega build. Big RDA. Big it. RDA, lots yeah. of weak, lots of juice exactly. is going to happen. Um, it still didn't take away from the flavour of the peach, and, then that, and that's the point. I think we've, we've gone through enough on the peach now. It's fairly simple in its flavour. If you want a peach flavoured... Peaches and cream, yeah. sweet peaches and cream. A little bit of can, little bit of candy in there. Mm. It's very nice. Out the two. Ooh. Problem I'm having is, do I think it's very nice for a peach? You see what I'm saying? Now, I'm not it, a peach uh, fan. Nor am I. And am I just so surprised at how nice it tastes for a peach that I'm going to put it over the banana that I am definitely a banana fan? That's see, the, issue the thing is, is I wanted to like the banana more than I did. Mm. 
and I thought I was going to like the peach less than I did. So I think for me, the peach actually beats the banana just because the expectations against... Expectations, yes, but for my personal preference of flavour, I still prefer the banana. I don't know. I am torn. Okay, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to give my score for both. Coming in, hit me. And then that's... The banana, I like, I prefer, but it's not my favourite banana I've ever had. Yeah. It needs to be a bit sweeter, so for that reason, it gets a 6.5 from me. Yeah, I'll give it a 7. Oh. And surprisingly, because it's the expectation plus yep. the flavour, I'm also going to give the fresher a 6.5. Yeah. Well, I'm going to give them both 7, which gives us that awkward <laughs> 6. 6.75. 7. So should we just go 7s? I think... Well, can I up here to a 7? Can I talk you into a 7 on both? And we'll just call it a draw. I liked both of them enough to yeah. go to a seven. Call so let's call, let's call them sevens. Seven draw, yeah. So fresher. I think it's as simple as this. If you want a peach flavour... You if, cannot go wrong. If you, you like cream, yeah. You can't yeah. go wrong with peaches and cream. Cannot go wrong. I don't think you can go wrong with that. If you're looking for a banana flavour, but you don't want it to taste as milkshakey as all the others do, then I'd say Beast is your, is yeah, your one. Yeah, yeah. I'd say it's probably it. Which, again, really leaves us with only... It does only leave us two things to say, I think, yeah. Um... One, one, more, one more time, big up before he says anything, yeah. big up to Drip Club one more time for always looking out for us and always supplying us with nice juice review, to review. Yeah, um, both of these are available on their website. Like I said, you get the 30 mil bottles, check six, them out. Six, 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 no, you get six, the 30 mil unicorn, unicorn bottles. Yeah. yeah, you get the 30 mil unicorn bottles with them. Both lovely juices. Give them a shout out one last time before we go. Absolutely. I mean, I've used that time to try and think what I'm going to oh, say. Yeah, you figured out something to say? Ooh, it's a tricky one. I like to be original. I don't like to say the same thing. Well, I'm going to say every show. Keep it cloudy, people. Oh uh, yeah, it's a good one. If only I could come up with something that would, would live as long as that. I don't think you can. I don't think I just can. Vape. I think I should just vape. Yeah. Like, yeah. We are. Thanks for watching our video, and as always, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And follow us on all social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. As always, Vapor Geezer. We shall see you next time. Thanks for watching.